No. I am right. And I will say it again. Simon. Fetch bar. It is urgent. My call. Ma. What are all your pamphlets and speeches compared with hers? She stands here and will come to you to kiss you and embrace you. Mara, an untouched virgin stands before you and offers herself to you. See how she smiles, how her teeth shine, how she shakes her dark hair aside. Mara, forget the rest. There's nothing else beyond the body. She stands here, her breasts naked under the thin cloth, and perhaps she carries a knife to intensify the love play. Who is at the door, Simon? A maiden from the rural desert of a convent. Imagine those pure girls lying there in rough sheets on hard floor and the heated air from the field forcing its way to them through barred windows. Imagine them lying there with moist thighs and breasts, dreaming of those who control life in the outside world. And then she was tired of her isolation and caught up in the new age and gathered up in the great tide and wished to be part of the revolution. But what's the point of a revolution? without general copulation. When I lay in the Bastille for 13 long years, I learned that this is a world of bodies. Each body pulsing with its own terrible power, each body alone and racked with its own unrest. In that loneliness, marooned in a stone sea, I heard lips whispering continually and felt all the time in the palms of my hands and in my skin, the need for contact. Shut behind 13 bolted doors, my feet fettered. I dreamed only of the orifices of the body, put there so that one may hook and twine oneself in them. Continually I dreamed of this confrontation. And it was a dream of the most savage, jealous, and cruelest imagining. Mara, these cells of the inner self are worse than the deepest stone dungeon. And as long as they are locked, all your revolution is but a prison mutiny to be put down by corrupted fellow prisoners. And what's the point of an evolution? And what's the 